Choosing a name for your blog can be difficult. Should you think of a clever brand name? Or should your blog name be your personal name? As for most digital marketing questions, the answer is it depends. There are pros and cons to consider for each choice. So let's go over these pros and cons and then discuss when to use a personal name and when to use a brand name for your blog. And now it's time for some more DIY SEO tips with Jennifer Regina. Okay, first let's talk about the pros of using a personal name for your blog. First is it helps people connect with you as a person. When you use your own name for your blog name, it helps people connect with you as a person. Instead of looking at your content as information coming from a business entity, your personal name makes it easier for readers to see the articles as advice coming from a friend. Next is it allows you to switch topics. With a personal blog, you are not committed to a particular topic or area of focus. You're free to write content about any aspects that make you unique. I would still recommend covering only a handful of topics so it's less confusing for the reader, but it wouldn't be unreasonable to adjust those topics over time as your interests shift. Next is it brands you as an expert. Creating a blog using your name allows you to brand yourself as an expert. This makes it easy for a future employer to see your area of expertise and better understand how knowledgeable you are in the subject matter. Okay, so those were the pros. Now let's talk about the cons of using a personal name for your blog name. First is it's more difficult to remember and spell. Depending on your name, it may be more difficult to remember your name than a brand name. And it can also be more difficult to spell a personal name than a brand name since personal names can have several different spellings. Next is the topics not clear. The ability to switch topics, which we discussed above as a pro, can also be a con. Since you're not committed to a particular topic, the focus of your site may be unclear to your readers and to search engines. This lack of clarity can make it harder to get your site ranked on search engines, and it may be more challenging to attract the right audience for your site. Next is it could be harder to sell. The final con for using your personal name as your blog name is that it can make your blog harder to sell. While selling your blog may or may not be something that you plan to do now, it's hard to tell what the future will bring, and you will have more options to sell your blog if it's not branded with your name. Okay, so this is what it comes down to. Use your personal name for your blog if personal branding is your goal. If you're working on getting a better job and trying to grow your social network, if you're using your blog as an extension of your resume, then yes, use your personal name for your blog name. But use a brand name for your blog if you want to grow a business. If you're selling a product or if you have an intention of selling a product in the future, then you'll want to use a brand name. If you want to use your blog as a business, and you're not concerned about branding yourself, then use a brand name, not your personal name, for your blog name. Either way, whether you use your personal name or a brand name for your blog, make sure to include your name as the author on the articles. You wanna include your name on your website to help build trust and increase credibility. Thanks for listening, and if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. This episode was brought to you by ClearPath Online, a DIY SEO tool for your website.